Award season off to a running start in Hollywood. The nominations for the 71st Golden Globes came in just moments ago. Here with the highlights and the lowdown, Jess Cagle, editor of Entertainment yes. Weekly. And the new issue has the host, Tina Fey, Amy Poehler. On yes, the Tina Fey and Amy Poehler are our guest editors this week. I love the fact and that they're, they're and they, were, they actually again. did work and they were actually funny. So I highly recommend it. What am I going to say? It's terrible. Don't buy it. Are you? Are you? Don't buy, don't buy that thing. No, it's fantastic. Let's They're great. get down to the nominations. First of all, Best Actress in a TV Series, Dramatic Series. Yes. Well, this is they're being announced even as we speak. Right. But uh, Claire Danes was not nominated for oh, Homeland. She won, wow. she won last year. Yeah. yeah the um, which was really shocking. Michelle Dockery from uh, Downton Abbey wow. not nominated. We the, Juliana Margulies. Kerry Washington, oh, I know you're happy about yay. that. Robin Wright, um, but th th some of the um, standbys were were shut out for Taylor Schilling, who's um, on Orange Is the New Black, mm. Tatiana Maslany, who's this fantastic actress on a show called Orphan Black. So if your show has the word black in it, you get you're in. Yeah, That's I mean, the, the best comedy TV series, a newcomer. Yes, uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine is a, mm -hmm. a great Andy Samberg show on Fox that was nominated. I expected Arrested Development to make a big showing for uh, Netflix and it did not get nominated. We have The Big Bang Theory, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, uh, Girls nominated again, Modern Family. Of course. Yes. You know, I know you're happy about that. I was very disappointed uh, that Veep was not nominated. How was it not nominated? Was, it's yeah. so good. It's Julia, Julia, it's Julia Louis Dreyfus was nominated for actress, but that but still, show was not. But the nominated. series itself is, is so, so good. good. It's so good. It's good it's, so, it's good for kids. <laughs> they can learn. They learn new words. <laughs> sure, Jess. Oh, I sure. feel a lot less guilty now. <laughs> Jess, uh, looking at the films now, uh, August Osage Candy, American Hustle, Saving Mr. Banks. We've been talking about them on the show. It's interesting because we're in the in the comedy drama. Zone. We, oh, there's this incredible gray area now. Yeah, exactly. For straight all of, comedies are drawn. All of the potential nominees for best comedy, none of them are a comedy. Yeah, we'll 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 have them in a second. But <laughs> it's it, it's there is not one single uh, among the nominees. American Hustle. Uh, that's kind of funny. August Osage County. Yeah. That's not right. No. <laughs> it's these just, movie, these are terrific movies. Enough said. I'm glad that, that got the nod. Uh, no, it didn't, I didn't movie. get the nod yet. It's on my potential list. Oh, it's on my potential okay. list. But I put it down as a, yeah, I'm going to lo look out for it because it's kind of an out and out comedy. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll how, see how does, that one does. Who decides where it falls? In the what studios strategize. You know, if they have a movie that they feel like, oh, I feel like we can get a nomination in the comedy category, not the drama category, oh. then, then they will. They will push for that, but then the, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association can sometimes come back to them and say, no, we think that this should it's be in the other category. It's always been good. I mean, the, the great thing about the Golden Globes for, for me is that it doesn't do what the Oscars tries to just, just say best movie. It does at least allow for two yeah. films, yeah, which I worthy think, films to be recognized, especially since the Academy tends to frown on comedies straight. Exactly. I, I love that the uh, I love that they honor comedies. It's just that this year, a lot of the comedies that are potential nominees are not all that funny. Coming yeah. in best supporting actor in a series, mini series, or TV movie. Uh, Mandy Patinkin not nominated yeah. in that category mm. for Homeland. So, so far, uh, not looking good for Homeland. But Aaron Paul for Breaking Bad. I think you're going to see a lot of uh, love for Breaking Bob Bad. Glad to morning. see Rob Lowe getting it for behind yeah, the Right, Rob Lowe. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the Good Wife doing very well mm -hmm. this morning. Josh Charles got uh, nominated for that. And I love Corey Stoll in House of Cards. If you've if you've seen that oh, show, gosh, he's phenomenal. Show. He's phenomenal. It didn't end. I don't think he'll be back. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's good for him. I've done no spoilers. No, nope, so no. Don't know if you'll be seeing him not again, you. but he was really good in that show. And All then right. best actor, comedy TV series. Best actor. Uh, oh, in comedy, uh, Jason comedy. Bateman from Arrested Development. Uh, even though the show didn't get nominated, he did. Great straight man. Like as good, oh, great straight, so. there's nobody better. Mm -hmm. There's just nobody better. Uh, Don Cheadle from House of Lies on Showtime. Michael J. Fox, yeah. no surprise mm -hmm. there. Jim Parsons, also Andy Samberg from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the Brooklyn show that's Nine -Nine. doing well yeah. this morning. Okay, yeah. so that's the TV side of it. We're going to delve into the movie side of the Golden Globe nominations. The Golden Globe nominations for film, 12 Years a Slave and American Hustle lead the Golden Globe movie nominations wow. with seven each. And Jess, let's start out, Jess Cagle from Entertainment Weekly, Best Motion Picture Drama. 
12 Years a Slave dominated. I think uh, 12 Years a Slave is a very, very strong contender for award season. I think American Hustle, uh, which was in the comedy category, we'll get to that in a minute. But those are the two movies, I think, that are really making strong showings and, and looking good. 12 Years a Slave in drama, uh, Captain Phillips. Tom mm -hmm. Hanks, Tom Hanks, big hit. Mm -hmm. um, Gravity, no surprise there. Uh, the two other little movies that people may be surprised about: mm -hmm. Philomena, which is a Judy great, Dench, yeah. Yeah. yes, fantastic movie. And um, the the Hollywood Foreign Press Association loves that film. They love Judy Dench. And also Rush, the Ron Howard movie yeah. about racing. Oh right, um, is another one that. We, I, it has not gotten a lot of critics yeah, or things like and, that. And, but and they about love it. F1, which is very popular outside of the United States. Yes, Formula One race. yes. They, it's about it. a foreign race. They're the Foreign Press Association. It all makes go. sense. How about comedy? Best pictures, yeah. Best picture comedy, American Hustle, again. Uh, not a comedy, but I'm, proud, I'm glad it got nominated. Her. <laughs> Not really a comedy. <laughs> Glad it got nominated. Inside Louis Davis. That's the one where the guy falls in love with Yes. Siri. Oh yeah, Joaquin Phoenix. Because who else but Joaquin Phoenix would fall in love with a, like a, a little gadget voice like Siri <laughs> by Scarlett Johansson, who people love in this movie, but she was not deemed eligible for a Golden Globe nomination. Uh -huh. Anyway, so but the movie was nominated. Inside Louis Davis, the Coen Brothers movie about a folk singer in the 1960s, Nebraska. Uh, oh, which Alexander is Payne. Bruce Dern, uh, terrific right. movie, Alexander Payne, and Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, is that a comedy? We haven't seen that one yet. Were you seeing it? Uh, yeah, it's not. It's, again, there are moments that you might find funny, but it is not certainly a not a yes. straight setup, punchline, setup, punchline comedy comedy. You could say it's a very, very black comedy. Yes. <laughs> you yeah, could. Very, you could. Very, 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 very dark comedy. Let's get some um, more nominations in while we can. Best actor. In a drama movie, she would no. tell Edge for Twelve Years a Slave. Uh, amazing uh, performance. Yeah, amazing, no surprise there. Um, Idris Elba, I think oh. he got in under the wire. Yeah. The, so the, the movie has not. And Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom. But he in that movie oh. is Mandela. He's fantastic. Uh, Tom Hanks and Captain Phillips. Mm -hmm. uh, the Hollywood Foreign Press loves Tom Hanks, and he was great in the movie. I think he'll go all the way in the Oscars. So happy as well. about this one. Matthew McConaughey and Dallas Buyers. <laughs> yeah. <about it. laughs> I was glad it did. He was amazing in that. He, was, he, he was terrific. Himself. Himself. Yeah. He was terrific. And the, the movie did not get nominated in drama, but I'm Jared Leto uh, in supporting Who? And, and McConaughey. Who? Or they comedy. It did it not out. get nominated yeah. in comedy. Yeah, exactly. I'm surprised, yeah, I'm surprised that Dallas Buyers Club did not get nominated in comedy because <laughs> everything else did. And Robert Redford mm -hmm. for All Is Lost. Yeah. And quickly, Best Actress. Just, just Look at that down. lineup. Yeah, that lineup wow. is really stellar. <laughs> Kate Blanchett. Sandra Bullock, Judy, Judy Dench, Dench, Emma Thompson, Kate Wow. Winslet. I mean, that's, and um, so, supporting actress, Jennifer Lawrence, Julia Roberts, Sally Hawkins, June Squibb, and no nomination for Oprah in The Butler. And I really thought that she was going to get it. Sure. In that that one. Shocked that she I wanted to see Shocked Julia, Oprah, and Jennifer Lawrence. Also that newcomer. Jennifer Lawrence in American Hustle. Yeah, wow. yeah she's yeah, fantastic. Really she was nominated. I can't believe Oprah didn't get a nod. I know. She was good because in this that really movie. indicates probably what's going to happen in the Oscars. It's, 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 it's a really mixed bag. Yeah. Now, it's, not a, it's not a huge indicator, but right. uh, the SAG Awards are sometimes a better indicator because those people, the Screen Actors Guild, actually do vote on the Oscars. The Hollywood Forum. Press does not.